obviously not to like a porn thing because that's not what we're we about. Can get that later. Yeah. We can get into that later. Yeah. Ciao, Fado. Ciao. And welcome to episode three of Tiny Talks. So ready for that one, babes. So today's episode, we're going to be talking about OnlyFans because your boy launched his OnlyFans on Friday night. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so a lot of people were curious, a lot of people were hateful, and a lot of people, I don't know, were nice. Yes, <laughs> Very nice. So I went on Instagram to ask you guys some questions that you have regarding OnlyFans mm -hmm. so that you can have some insight on our OnlyFans and maybe... I can give a tip or two, but not much to be honest. What made Naz do OnlyFans? We'll start with that one. Um, probably just like an excess of just exclusive content, like content that I just keep to myself. Really. Mm. Yeah. Chris has always been telling me to do it. Um, obviously not to like a porn thing because that's not what we're we about. Can get that later. Yeah. We can get into that later. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> Talking about it. <laughs> but you know, that was pretty much pretty much where it began, like just so much info and stuff, because it's like, why like why not? Yeah, because um, obviously they're pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, biased opinion I'm sure but yeah. No. Yeah, I made it on what the Friday, Friday. just been. Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling? Yeah, all good. I mean like good? made more money than I ever expected, so yeah. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Which what? still isn't much. I reckon it is. Yeah, I was expecting like, you know, maybe like 50, 100 bucks, like max. But, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's not much compared to other creators. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah. People are like, is it decent money? I'm like, yeah, but like, yeah. I'm not making yeah. like what other people are making. So I guess we'll get into like what content we make. So basically, yeah, we don't do corn. <laughs> We are making. Can I say pornography? I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, we're not making sexual content. Yeah, there's no like sex work involved. It's like any of the content that is posted could go out into the world, but like guidelines don't allow it. For, like, yeah, TikTok so like we're, we're comfortable with if it was to be leaked or like if we could post it on Instagram, we would feel comfortable posting yeah. it on there. But due to like certain guidelines and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And just like not matching like my personal brand and your personal brand on Instagram and stuff. Okay, so yeah, someone said, what do you post? Do you do custom requests? How much money do you make on average? Well, yeah, I guess like for the most part, it's very body for both of us. Yeah, definitely. So for me, I have like a weekly schedule. So I don't know if you're going to follow the same kind of thing, but. I post on weekdays on the feed and then you can pay extra in the messages but everything's just like yeah you know, I don't know I feel like it's very similar to like my old Instagram except mm -hmm. it's less about I don't know it's more aesthetic like it's yeah, more definitely, yeah. that's what I wanted the vibe to be but if you go back on my older content that was like full-on shoots I was trying to achieve yeah. like artwork yeah. it just took the I'm life out of me and I, I'm not gonna do that for <laughs> So I've gone like the Pinterest route, whereas before I feel like that was like... Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. And then what, what do you think your, you would describe your content as? Dark. Um, yeah, just like dark, grungy yeah. muscles. Yeah, like complete opposites. Yeah. I'm like squishy, light, glowy Pinterest. You know, yeah. like grungy, dark muscles. Like sharp. Mm. I feel like mine's pretty soft looking. Like I look yeah. quite soft. That sounds so weird, <laughs> but that's literally us, like we're complete opposites when it comes to what's called aesthetics. So like it was funny because like, yeah, someone asked as well, like, do we make content together? And we've made like a few pieces of content, but we've never gone very yeah. serious. Yeah, it's, it's hard because, yeah, we are, yeah, we are completely opposite. different heights, completely, you know, different skin complexions and stuff, so it makes it hard, yeah. Yeah, like all our couple photos are very like, just snapping a pic so like when we try to take photos see there's a little bit i don't know we're still figuring it out because the angles that naz likes for his body i think i look absolutely silly in 
and the vice versa. And lighting so. differences and stuff like that. So yeah, but there's been a few cute photos that Nish yeah. did once then. <laughs> do you do custom requests? No, not so far. But I just, it just depends what someone would request, right? Yeah. So you'd be open to it, just nothing like disgusting requests and stuff. Like yeah, nothing too people. personal because yeah. I don't, I don't want. Well, I don't want you to ever feel uncomfortable, and I don't want to ever feel uncomfortable either. Mate, all depends how much you're paying. <laughs> well, there's a thing. Is like, <clears throat> I, I don't know if this is something I should say, but like, the stuff that I do on OnlyFans isn't sex work, as I said. But it's not even like something that I would like send to Naz. You know, mm. like, I feel like yeah. I don't just, like, put, like, it's really different. Whereas I feel like OnlyFans, yeah, for the most definitely. part, when you're subscribing to an OnlyFans girl, you're getting that yeah. experience of, like, getting those, like, Like, pretty moves. much having their Snapchat. Yeah, example. like, snapping yeah, nudes where, to each other. For example, yours is trying to be, like, another Instagram feed. Yeah, it's, like, like a yeah. different way of using the platform, I yeah. think. And I don't think but there's anything wrong with either. Taking those criteria as a bit of sauce. Mm. Of a, How I, I should do that. I should do like workout videos and stuff with people. Yeah, you really can. No, like so many people, can. I don't know, OnlyFans obviously is known for sex work. That's what grew the platform. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just think it is odd that people do... Only like stereotypical. Yeah. stereotype it as an only sex work kind yeah. of thing yeah. and it's crazy because like there's different kinds of sex work too but it's always just i don't know stereotyped into this like super negative one when reality is it's like the reason why i really like only fans for, for sex workers is that they are their own bosses like yeah. sure only fans are taking the 20 percent cut yeah. but they're in charge of their body yeah. they're in charge of their content they're I gonna yeah they're gonna as much as they put in they're gonna make you know yeah. it's, it's not gonna be you know everyone's putting in some hard hours and doing and then hard the work and then yeah the biggest cut and you get 10 grand when they're making millions off of you yeah. you know whereas now girls are making millions and i think whether they did OnlyFans or not, they probably wanted to go into yeah. sex work for the most part. That's why I think OnlyFans is really cool. Oh, yeah. and guys, and I safe. keep saying girls, but that's just mm. that's the only ones that I know. Of. <laughs> okay, do we have boundaries of what we post? Yeah, obviously, as we yeah. discussed. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm pretty like I don't really mind. Like, even before I had blown up on social media, like we were doing quite like naked photos of mm. me. Of age, yeah. like bikini and like underwear photos. Yeah, trying to, yeah, very. Like very artsy. Yeah. Um, so like we've done it for longer than OnlyFans existed and that I had a career on social yeah. media. Yeah, um, definitely. So I feel like we've always been comfortable with that. Yeah, definitely. But not genitals. <laughs> yeah, no, we've never. Oh, my little nurse. <laughs> Your little nurse. My little real nurse. Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> taking... That's what I mean. If someone ever was like, oh, I have a photo of you, you know, downstairs, I'm like, oof, that is my postpartum downstairs. <laughs> because I took plenty of photos of that so that I could always show them. <laughs> Maybe I should sell those for two grand. Well, <laughs> postpartum. Uh, that's disgusting. Are your parents supportive of OnlyFans? My parents are, yeah, they're all for it, man. Yeah. Or not all for it, but like, you know, they're just supportive of whatever we do. Yeah. So, yeah. I just think that they yeah. were more like from the beginning. There was no doubt in them, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, not at all. Yours? Um, yes, they're very supportive. My dad was scared at first because he is worried for me. But my females, my mum and sisters were fully like, get that bag. <laughs> They just don't want to see yeah. it themselves, like they won't subscribe, which is good to those family members that subscribed. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> yeah, so we have very supportive families and friends. What about your yeah. friends? What do your friends reckon? For Tony fans? Yeah. yeah, they crack up. <laughs> they all like, Shee. I find it funny that like a men's nudes can only be your genitals. To like even like when you show your bum, that's not even considered a nude. Like yeah. it's just okay. Like it's just so known photo. that men yeah. <laughs> can show it. But in reality, is you're quite, you're pretty modest when it comes to Instagram. I reckon. Like I know you have some shirtless pics, but really, like you really haven't. Like there's been sexier photos of you that I'm like, what 
it's on the ground and you're like, nah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. On Fridays, I do my feet photos. <laughs> and I don't know if anyone's even into it, but I just was like, oh, you know what? I would never put my feet on Instagram. I don't love my feet. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna put on my only pants. So every Friday, yeah. a foot pick comes out and I love them. I think they're so cute. Yeah, they have been. Yeah, <laughs> but that's crazy cool. that that's yeah. considered like a nude for a woman. It's my foot. <laughs> Yeah. Am I just going to be subscribing and see my toes? I don't think so. Maybe. I hope not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tips for growing OnlyFans without an established following. I don't think that's for us to say. If you do the research, you will see that everyone, like anyone with an OnlyFans link that's sort of well is done well on something else. Yeah, on a different social media platform. Even if it's just one viral TikTok like that, Midwest yeah. Emma, I'll link her down below because she does have tips for anyone who needs it. She wasn't famous on Instagram or anything like that and she's grown. She's in the like top 0.01% so I will True. link her down there. Oh, and this, she's uh, the one that doesn't show her face. The cowgirl girl. Yeah, but, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, bombs, bombs. I don't even know what to say. Dang, that must be some ultra money. <laughs> yeah, like six figures a monthly. Alright guys, what are we going to do? Do you get worried about your kids growing up and seeing your own fans? Um, no. Do you worry about my kids knowing about any of the photos that I've done? No. Yeah, neither. Like, just like, what do you mean there? Like, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like I've been brought up as like, very, yeah. like, just due to being around dad as a fashion photographer, like seeing just the professional inside of stuff and how how everything's respected and treated. Because I even think, though the yeah. women were like sexy and they yeah. photographed sexy, it wasn't a sexualized situation. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah. It was super professional. Yeah, definitely. So I think just teaching the kids yeah. that as they grow up that like people do have different professions. Yeah. Like people do have different jobs and it's yeah. Don't judge someone by it. Yeah, and the fact that like why are we just sexually like sexualizing naked people in a negative way? Like, sure, they can be sexy and attractive, but like, mm. there's no reason to what is it called? put a stigma on yeah, someone, yeah. or even or just treat them differently. Body shame, yeah, body all shame that stuff, and yeah. Get into details, yeah. No, uh, I'm, I'm not worried. I reckon yeah, you know. definitely how our point of view is on how we want to grow up our sons. Uh, yeah, mm. pretty pretty on track with yeah our same models and stuff and again i think so for anyone who does think about signing only names i think the thing is obviously money is the biggest like incentive yeah incentive that's the drive for it but you have to put your morals first because again if i were to put money first then everyone would be seeing my kitchen <laughs> Yeah. But I don't want that. I wouldn't want that least. I don't want yeah. my kids seeing my coochie unless yeah. it's the birth video. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> then I'll show that to them. But you know, like exactly. And it's funny because a lot of people actually struggle with that a lot more than than you think. Yeah. Like you see a lot of um, like influencers and stuff taking the route that they, you know. Yeah, you know, jumping onto right. OnlyFans and being like, oh yeah, like. I want to stick away from that, but then you know, and as it goes on, on you know, people, up. yeah, people are pressuring you with money and stuff, and it's all good to change your mind as well. Like that's all good, just as long as you understand the consequences that come with it, and if you're going to be all good with it. And it's like literally anything too, like yeah. tattoos. Like yeah. that changes work in the future when you get a tattoo, and that's something that we're totally for piercings and tattoos as well. Yeah. So I just, we've never wanted. A life job. where yeah. <laughs> those yes. things aren't accepted, yeah. so, but yeah, I don't know, I just think that the one thing is not falling into pressure and figuring out what you value, what, you, yeah. what your values are. I don't blame anyone for like falling yeah. temptation to money or to, yeah, definitely. even scams, like some people have been totally scammed where someone's offered the yeah. money for that and they didn't get the money. Like, I don't know, don't feel bad about it. It's get just a mistake. Get paid first. Yeah, always. That's a little that, tip. Yeah, <laughs> that's get a tip. Get paid first. Yeah, don't. Always. Including if you just influence a deal too. Like, yeah. well, not get paid first, but like get paid. I don't know, too many people ripping people off these days. Like the jealousy thing. Do we get jealous? I mean, in general, yes, but <laughs> on only with none. Yeah, no. No? Like, 
I don't know, I like to yeah. a certain extent when girls are like, <laughs> this is me like, I kind of want to subscribe to them, I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know, there's nothing really to say about it. Yeah, no, we're just not. Yeah. I just think, yeah, that level of respect that yeah. people, for the most part, our audience is having. Yeah. I mean, there's some girls that are really nasty, to be honest. But it hasn't been to do with OnlyFans, so again, <laughs> yeah. that's just been on other platforms. That's why I think it just doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, people will be sneaky on oh, Instagram, yeah, TikTok, TikTok, YouTube, yeah. like literally anything. But Facebook. Not, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I would rather my partner make a bag mm. and enjoy it than sneak a link on freaking Facebook. <laughs> Is OnlyFans your main source of income? No. No. So our main source of income is from um, my Instagram mostly. Is actually my main paying platform. Because it's just, I don't know, it's my most solid platform. It's the one that is the most reliable. And it's just, it's my baby. I grew it. <laughs> I nurtured it. Yeah, from way, way back. Yeah, I've always wanted to be an well, I've actually always wanted to be a YouTuber, but like Instagram, I, I really nourish. Whereas like TikTok and YouTube, I've always like fallen off. Even on the fans, I fell off because I've burnt out, but I don't know, Instagram. Even though it's literally the worst platform for like creators, it has my heart. Okay. It's supposed to be an OnlyFans shout out there. <laughs> I know. Well, OnlyFans has my heart in a different way because it's, it's more about the like, community, in that not the platform. way. <laughs> Yeah, that's sexy the, way. In the below of the streets, <laughs> Only fans is my side piece. Instagram is my main help. <laughs> what was your thought when I first came to your guy here on fans? Yeah, I was pretty sweet as with it. I just yeah. asked you to show me what kind of content you're going to post for the first couple, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. I also like, even though. I already knew my man's I shoot sure you made like little comments like, oh, make an OnlyFans man. Yeah. But I still was nervous when I was like asking you, I'm pretty sure I just kept joking about it. <laughs> because I was nervous that, I don't know. That's what she always tells us. Always tells us. Yeah, I just uh, we should get it all. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to go. I don't want to go out. <laughs> Second baby. You're really cool if you stop. <laughs> no, but yeah, I don't know. Go. Yeah, just chill, yeah. Just wanted to... Which is fair enough. And yeah, now we subscribe to each other, so we're sort of going to see everything. So, there you go. Wink, wink. So, how much money have you made so far? We didn't... Oh, did we have to We'll just answer okay. it again. Yeah, it was like roughly about <laughs> 600 AUD. I, forgot, I didn't check properly, yeah, but yeah. Probably. Roughly 600 AUD. So and he launched like Friday night. Mm. And how many followers do you have on Instagram? Is it 14? 14? Yeah, 14. 14. There's an old account, but deleted. So, I've been on OnlyFans, I took a break, but I've been on OnlyFans since I think October or November last year, and I think it was like 37,000 now that I think about it. I don't know. We'll put the screenshots up, I guess. Where that doll? <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> Are your subscribers mainly female or male? Well, you can't tell on OnlyFans. Yeah, well, so I was reading through quite, so I, I think I've only got like 50 fans. So like I'm over my first promotion. So yeah, I've got over 50 fans. Which was your goal. Which yeah, is which so was cool. my goal for my first week, which thank was cool. Guys. Yes, and thank yous. And um, yeah, I was scrolling and yeah, there was definitely quite a lot more dudes than I was um, expecting. An anticipating, yeah. That's the same with me. I yeah. have all, I, I'm pretty sure I have majority female on my OnlyFans. Oh, I'm pretty true. sure. Like when I've when I've seen names pop up, but again, you can't actually tell on OnlyFans. They're just using names mm -hmm. and sometimes profile photos. But sorry, Nate, just keeps getting up to check the roast veggies. <laughs> sorry, trying to make dinner fans. Opinion on having others pay to look at your significant other? So they should. Opinion, <laughs> yeah. And they should. <laughs> but I find that so funny, especially because I, I don't know. I just feel like I think it is because of the stigma. Because it's like, what do you mean? Like, people look at you on the street, people look at you on Instagram. Mm. Like, they, people look. Yeah, people, <laughs> people, like, I, yeah, I see people in my crystal thumb. Like, you know. Damn it, but. 
all the time, like even if we're just in the mall and stuff. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon it's like, like, like an ego people. boost. It's like, ah, uh, yeah. Maybe we should start tolling people. Mm -hmm. We should just like have an electric pay wave on our arms. So if anyone looks at us, they say, like, that's a bit of money out of you. <laughs> <laughs> if you made enough money off OnlyFans, would you stop influencing, which is my main job? But like, would we make it our full time jobs? Um, I don't know. Oh, I, I'd probably like, I would probably do like part time hours, but make it like a full time job. Like relying <laughs> on it as a full time job. Yeah, income. like, like, on, or relying on it, on it as a full time income, probably not. Well, not relying, like, obviously, the smart thing to do is have multiple sources. Yeah, income, obviously, right? yeah, obviously. But I don't think there's anything wrong, like, people are always like, I'm alone. Like, there's so many jobs out there that aren't reliable. Yeah. You know, it's just the stigma. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, again. I reckon there's no big deal about it. Like You just get another job on yeah, those bus, you know, you just much. figure it out. It is, it's just like another job. What's but what's cool about this is that this job gives you the opportunity to still make money while you're looking for a job or while you're yeah, working like, on yeah. like a different project you know, or a passion like, project. Yeah, passion or project or you know, schooling or you know, it's just and that goes for YouTube. I mean, too. schooling in terms of like university, like old people schooling as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but exactly, like I don't know, I just feel like it's weird when people are like, oh, I'm like, enjoy life when you're poor, like. Like my dad had like a what like a steady job and he was made redundant. Like they can have things, yeah. happen, you know. Definitely, yeah. I feel like yeah. Again, just due to that stigma people have mm -hmm. of it, people just create like a negative thing around it. Like oh yeah, if you're bankrupt, then you're stuck for life. Like no, like you you just go get a job. And just like be smart with it. Like obviously don't yeah. get in over your head. Like yeah. obviously we've done that a few times, like financial mistakes. But like you just learn from them. I don't know. It's also about like no one else's business what happens with your own money, eh? Yeah, exactly. Like, we're pretty open about it, but like, why are you so angry about someone else's life? Because <laughs> <laughs> yours ain't we need to come or like... I notice I start coming to on people's life when I feel a little insecure about my own. <laughs> Just something to reflect on. <laughs> if you had a daughter, would she be allowed to do this? Yep, I would support it. When she's of age? Yes, when she's of age. Um, but I just, yeah, make it crucial to her. Not crucial, but like make her just understand all the consequences. Like, consequences, good and bad. And just understand that, yeah, what comes of it. Yeah, because she, you know, that is a completely different human. Yeah. They not, might not be as comfortable as what I am, or yeah. they might be way more comfortable than <laughs> what I am. Yeah, and they might want to do porn and stuff. Yeah, like, and that's, that's not our business yeah. once they're of age, you know? I mean, it is our business. Oh, it I is our business. I would want yeah, it to no, be my right. business because I would, like, you know, this is my daughter. Yeah, yeah, I would want it safe. And, well, you know, if she choice. ever had a problem, you know? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. It is our business. It's yeah. not our choice. Yeah. Um, she doesn't want it. Us in your business, then. but that goes with the boys too, you know. Yeah, <laughs> we're having two sons, we don't have a daughter, so like, yeah. that's the exact same for the boys. <laughs> yeah. Do you use your phone? Do you use your camera for the phone? Oh, that's a good question. Phone, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, my old stuff, I used the camera for yeah. the proper shoots, and I would do a lot of those shoots with Taylor. Ness helped me with a few, but a lot of them I did with Taylor because we just are very comfortable with each other. <laughs> and. But recently, yeah, just been a lot more drained and... Yeah, heck no, that took a lot of It would take hours, it would take like four hours <laughs> to do a full shoot. Yeah, they would even go away for a weekend and just have a weekend yeah. of content, you know? Yeah, hi, it's Edith and Christine here, and I just wanted to say a reminder that all of the old content that I'm talking about is available as soon as you subscribe to my OnlyFans, you have access to all of that. You have access to like 290 photos and videos. It was taking a lot out of me, so I was like, when I wanted to do, you know, start it up again, I was like, okay, I want to go the Pinterest route, Instagram type route, but make it OnlyFans. Like, mm -hmm. I think that's pretty much it. I guess I can answer how much do I make weekly? So, at the moment, obviously, I've only been relaunched for a bit, but it, it was about over a grand a week, mm -hmm. like on average. Yeah, yeah, which was 
really decent, pay all the bills and have that savings get right up. Yeah. 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 So that's why I'm happy to start that again because it does bring in a weekly income because as an influencer you get paid monthly or when people want to pay your invoices, <laughs> which sometimes is two monthly or three monthly. <laughs> so you gotta hustle hard to like be paid often. Whereas like my fans does bring in a weekly income if you're getting enough money. Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright. Alright. I think that's heaps. Hopefully we answered a few of your curious questions. Yeah. Hopefully. And thank you to everyone who dealt with the bad quality and sound quality last two episodes. I told her. I told her. Thanks for everyone who had nice criticism about the sound. Hopefully the sound was better this time and hopefully the quality was more enjoyable and stuff. But that leads so us to the end. Our sun sun is on the way. If you wanted to subscribe to either of our OnlyFans, Nazareth's is at Nazareth and it will be linked in the description below. And Naz is going to have a sale. Naz is going to have a sale. <laughs> Yep. What's your sale? Oh, uh, <laughs> so we'll probably like, I don't know, first 15 people will get like 30% off. Okay, so the next 15 people who watch the video get what? 30% off. 30% off. I will do a sale. I don't know. I don't know. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next 15 people that subscribe to either my, what is it called? My OnlyFans or Nazareth's OnlyFans get 30% off. Correct? Okay. And if you do both, <laughs> she goes in the cheeky. Oh yeah, free picks, but you have to prove them up. How do I say that? If you are an expired subscriber from my past, then there is 20% off for you always, so that you come back. <laughs> okay, our social media links will also be below. Nez's Instagram is at Nez with two A's. Mine is Christine Philippa. Oop. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. Comment down below what? Some to speak about. Next time we're on Tiny Talks. <laughs> any, any particular topic? Yeah, any particular topic. Okay, and if you liked today's video... Say a chirp in the comments. Leave below. a like! Oh. Okay, if you liked today's video... Leave a like and, and say chirp. And subscribe if you haven't already. Oh yeah, subscribe. For more from your two favourite people. <laughs> okay. Done. Can I have a kiss? I'm tired. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Sure. Oh, Dang. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs>